Hi guys, this is René Molenaar for GNS3 Vault and I want to show you how to convert your HTTP server on your Cisco router. So I got two routers here, client and HTTP and of course on the HTTP router that's where we will configure HTTP server and I can test it by using the client router on the left side. Okay, so let's get started. And the first step is to enable HTTP server and make it serve files from the flash. So what we can do is on the HTTP router, I can do IP HTTP server, which will enable it. And I can do IP HTTP path and refer to the flash. There we go. The second task is I'm going to use port 5001 and this network should be the only network that is allowed to reach the HTTP server and a maximum of five connections. So let's change it. So IP HTTP max connections, you can set it to five. IP HTTP port 5001. And what else do we have? IP HTTP access class. We can refer to an access list. So access list one permit this network. And this is now the only network that is allowed to reach the HTTP server. Okay, so we changed the port, I used an access list, we changed the maximum number of connections to 5. Alright, the next step. Um, users should authenticate, username vault, password save. So what we can do is say username vault, password save. And then we need to activate it by using IP HTTP. And you can see we have authentication here authentication and then we will use local because local refers to the um, local database with usernames and passwords okay uh, okay so that should be it so let's give it a go and see if it's working so what I need to do let's check the flash uh, dig flash we got this file on the flash http conf g let's go to the client and let's see what happens if i do this copy http the ip address the port number the file name and i'm going to copy it to null and it says permission denied and that's because we have a username and password so what I can do on the client router is say IP HTTP client and you can see you can specify the username here so username vault and we can do IP HTTP client password so password save there we go let's try to copy it one more time And it still says permission denied. And that's rather interesting. Because that's not what I was expecting. The access list is okay. I can see username vault password save. I can see IP HTTP authentication local. Everything seems to be okay. Let's get rid of this line, see if it makes any difference. So I disabled the authentication. Then you can see it's working. So let's enable it again, see what I did um, wrong here. Permission denied. Let's do a debug. Debug HTTP authentication. 
it says authentication failed for level 15 and level 15 that's um, enable access so maybe I have to change it so username vault password save and we can use we can change the privilege level so username vault privilege level 15 password save so be careful with this because this means that if you log in with username vault password save privilege level 15 this user will have enable access right away um, but you can see that I seem to need it for my HTTP authentication now it says HTTP privilege level granted 15 and the copy has worked okay okay so we got it all uh, there's one more command I want to show you show IP HTTP server status this is a useful command because it will show you everything about HTTP it's enabled 5001 for the port local authentication we are serving files from the flash and you can also see this stuff about HTTPS anyway that's it I uh, hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and till next time